Obviously, we have R.J. Barrett. And R.J. Barrett last year against the Miami Heat, we remember that 50-point game that he had. So maybe playoff R.J. Barrett because that is a thing. That is a thing. Playoff R.J. Barrett, it has a ring to it. I love it. I love the sound of playoff R.J. Barrett. Jalen Brunson, playoff Jalen Brunson is a thing too. So the Knicks, like they got more guys. Tyler Hero is going to be out for the series, so that's going to be a, a plus for the New York Knicks. Obviously a negative for the Miami Heat. We have Julius Randle potentially out with the ankle injury. I'm looking right now to see the uh, the current update earlier today. There was no official update on what's going on with him. Hopeful that he'll play in game one 25 minutes ago. Yeah, he was limited at practice a couple hours ago. So now I guess he's hopeful that he play, he'll play game one. But I'm not worried because Obi Toppin, you saw it. He's going to be able to step in, create a lot of space on that floor. Um, you saw him on the fast break. You know, he's going to be able to get out in that fast break. He's going to stretch the floor. He can knock down his threes when he plays a uh, more consistent time. So even with Randall, even if he is playing game one, you know, you're going to expect to see him in a limited role, probably just like the first couple of games of that series. And you saw it was no fallback because Obi Toppin is Obi Toppin. Knicks fans know what that guy right there, Obi Toppin, is able to do when you put the basketball in his hands. He's a beast. And even on defense, you know, he's he's good. He can get up there and he's chasing down offensive rebounds, chasing down defensive rebounds. He's a physical guy. Um, on both ends of the floor. So, and he's a guy who brings energy, especially when the Knicks have home court advantage this series and Obi top and dunk. Nothing ignites the crowd more right now. Nothing ignites the I, like in the history of the garden. I don't think anything has ignited the crowd maybe back in the day, obviously, but the, in the last like 15 years of the Knicks of the Madison square garden, nothing has lit up the crowd more. Then Obi Toppin slamming down a huge dunk that forces the other team to call a timeout. And then you just, ah! Nothing ignites the Madison Square Garden more than an Obi Toppin dunk. So Obi Toppin, I'm, I'm pumped up for uh, to see him play a couple more big games with the Knicks. But let's go over my bold predictions for this series. I got three bold predictions. One, I think Knicks fans really start to fall in love with Tibbs. Obviously, Knicks fans are starting to fall in love with Tibbs with the adjustments that he made in the first round of the series. Um, and we're, we're getting past, getting past the team, like the Cleveland Cavaliers, like the Cleveland Cavaliers are a good team. They're not, they're, they were a better regular season team to them. So you got to give Tibbs credit that we were able to get by a team such as the Cavs. Um, they got a lot of all-stars on that team. So good for the Knicks. Good for Tom Thibodeau there. My second bold prediction, RJ Barrett will be the series MVP. Maybe it's not a bold prediction because, of the way that RJ has been playing actually, but maybe it also is a bold prediction because of the way that Jalen Brunson has been playing. So I think RJ Barrett will be the series MVP though, over Jalen Brunson. I think we could see multiple 25 plus point games. I think maybe even a 30 plus point game here and there. And who knows, maybe he does go off for like a 40 or 50 point game. Cause he did go off for 50 points just last season against the Miami. He, he was a guy who averaged over 24 game since I think since the all-star break uh, of last season. Um, so it's there. The potential is there. Obviously at a down regular season this year, but so far in the postseason, RJ Barrett has been nothing but money on both ends of the floor too. Cause it's not just offense. It's defense too. We were, uh, that RJ Barrett has been standing out and he's always been preaching since he's been in this league. He, d he wants to be just as good on the defensive side as the ball on the offensive side as the ball. So, for him to be doing it on both ends in the most important games of his entire career, I mean, what more can you ask for? Yeah, he struggled this year, but if he's not struggling in the most important games of his career so far, I think that's what that's what really matters. Because Julius Randle, I mean, you got to give him credit. Without Julius Randle, we wouldn't be here, but we wouldn't be in the second round of the playoffs if R.J. Barrett wasn't here. So you got to give credit where credit is due. Yeah, he had a not a terrible offensive season. Yeah, he had a terrible offensive season. I think there's no – actually, yeah, he did. He had flat out – R.J. Barrett did not have a year of R.J. Barrett standards. And he hasn't been in the league, obviously, for too long. But it was a down year for him. No better way to put it. So for him to come out here and make up for it in the playoffs and play like the R.J. Barrett that Knicks fans know R.J. Barrett can be because he was the third overall pick, he's 
obviously Zion and John Morant went over him, and John obviously makes more of an impact than R.J. Barrett because the Grizzlies are a very, very good team. But Zion, I mean, you can argue that R.J. Barrett, has, he's a better player than Zion Williamson right now. I mean, if they both retired, R.J. Barrett, I mean, obviously none of them would go to the Hall of Fame if they retired today, but R.J. would have a better chance of – he would have a better legacy than, than Zion, and he already does because Zion obviously sitting out of playoff games and R.J. Barrett showing up in the playoffs. So there you go, you Zion lovers. Um, so, yeah, that's my other bold – that's my last bold prediction. Uh, no, my last bold prediction is Obi Toppin will shine. I think Obi Toppin, if he gets a start here and there with Julius Randle out, I think we could see him go off for 20-plus points and put himself on the map because he's already on the map of New York, but he's going to put himself on the map big time. So Obi Toppin, big series. That's my other bold prediction. Other bold prediction, Knicks fans really fall in love with Tibbs. Like, no one has anything to say bad about Tibbs after this series. And then my third bold prediction, obviously, is R.J. Barrett, the series MVP. Playoff R.J. Barrett, it's a real thing. 